Welcome, everybody. This is LCC Radio and TV, and it's good to have you along. Jerry Jalowski is with us today. Jerry, we see you once a year, but it's always a pleasure having you <laughs> in, the, in the studio. It's so nice to be back, Jack. How you Thanks been? so much. Really well, really well. Looking forward to the sixth annual How to Halloween. Isn't that hard to believe? Busy, busy, busy. How to Halloween. It's a great event. And uh, how did it all come about? You know, it started uh, just building some cool things for Halloween night in our neighborhood, That realizing that that was the fun of the you know, process of doing mm-hmm. that and, and working as the owner of Jam and DJs for 20 some odd years, I'd always wanted to do some sort of event. And, and this was all of a sudden the germ of the idea, Hey, let's do something creative and fun. And I pitched it to the people at uh, LEPFA, which is mm-hmm. Lansing Entertainment right. and Public Facilities Authority. And they loved it and we ran with it. And, and, uh, here we go year six and, and, uh, it's going strong and, and really turned into something special. That's great. Has it always been two weeks before Halloween? or is it You know what? It shifts depending on their availability. I was wondering about that. Yeah, yeah. We're partners with the Lansing Center. So, okay. so we kind of take an open spot. And that's the nice thing is is that they're helping out, you know, uh, providing the space and, and uh you know, making it more accessible to the average person to do an event like this because the cost can get really out of control pretty quickly. So, so if anybody's listening or watching, what would happen, and what would what would be the benefit of them going to How to Halloween? It really is, it's very educational. It is. There's a there's a great component of that. Uh, you know that we kind of disguise in Halloween, but <laughs> right. you know what? It's it's evolved and is a really immersive experience, mm-hmm. uh, almost like a as if you went to Universal Studios or Disney World on Halloween night. That's very almost cool. like what you're going to see. But it's here in our backyard. So, you know, very inexpensive. You know, you'll have Ghostbusters and Star Wars characters and superheroes and, uh, you know, so many exhibitors. Um, we've got vendors, uh, over two dozen vendors there, uh, most we've ever had. So you can do a little shopping and and support your local starving artists. And uh, there's, cool. you know, live music on the stage, entertainment, trick-or-treating for the kids. We're going to have, what, maybe three, four dozen trick-or-treating stations so so they can bring a bag and, and go around. And, and um, I have to tell you, new this year, you don't know this, is the killer car show that's happening. So on day one, we're having all these crazy rides and and customs and hearses and and movie cars all outside of the Lansing Center. You know, I was wondering when you said killer car, killer car show, I was <laughs> saying, is he talking that it's going to be a great car show or will it be unusual? There, both. There you go. It, <laughs> it, so it's working. The name's working. So this is the first time we're trying this and, and bringing people in for day one, just having some spectacle outside uh, to just show more things that we've built because we're blown off the doors of the Lansing Center. And then day two, we're doing the uh, 10th annual downtown. I, know. I want to talk walk. about yes. that in just a second. We will. You have uh, cosplayers. Yes. Now, now let's let's talk about for those who don't know what a cosplayer is. We do have a big group of cosplayers here in Michigan. We the do. cosplayers for geeks. The, but tell us a little bit about uh, the cosplayers and what it is. Well, the community of these people is something uh, amazing mm-hmm. that that uh for example the best example i can think of is the league of enchantment right. and uh, in fact our featured guest this year is lansing batman he is uh uh you know he had a traumatic origin story and he turned that into becoming a real life superhero right um he you know, and now is part of the league, which is 80 plus members strong of these superheroes that go out in the community, bringing joy to children's hospital visits and charity events. And uh, they are just uh, such an inspiration. And, and I'm, I'm so honored to be working with them. And, They're good people. Yeah, they really are. And, and uh, the, there's countless stories like that of, of people who just just uh you know overcoming whatever you know happens in their lives and 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 instead of you know falling inside they they you know projected outside to do good in the community they made it happen yeah so now the show uh down at the lansing center on saturday it's 11 to 5 right that's correct okay saturday and sunday is that a ticketed event it is a ticketed advance event in fact if you buy now um buy early before the day of the show it's almost half off so we've got early bird specials online and along with family discounts so it's it's pretty inexpensive i think it ends up being like uh Five or six bucks if you buy early, nine bucks at the door uh, to 
Buy tickets is how dash to Halloween.com. Okay. Uh, tickets are available uh, through the Lansing Center or at the box office when you walk in. Let's talk about this free event coming sure. up on uh, Sunday at noon and a decade <laughs> of the undead. Can you believe it? It's a, hard to a believe. A decade, yes. This has really become a big event, but it's a, there's a benefit to the Greater Lansing Food Bank as well. That's right. So we ask all the walking dead to bring a non-perishable food item uh, you know, to the walk. And mm-hmm. uh, we all congregate. We're going to congregate at about 1130 at the Lansing Center outside of Exhibit Hall C and uh, give the zombies instructions to slowly lurch their way their toward thing. the capital. Yeah, yeah, right. Yes, and there's probably, we're going to unleash 200 plus zombies Is that uh, right? for 200? an amazing photo op, yep, going going to the capital. And then we invite them back uh, for zombie yoga this year, thanks to... Zombie uh, yoga? Yes, yes, our sponsor, Catalyst Warrior. <laughs> and then uh, there'll be a best zombie contest too. So so the fun continues. Yeah, there's there, that's an amazing day too. So down at the Capitol, spectrum. you're going to have 200 zombies on the steps of the Capitol. <laughs> what, steps what a picture that's going to be. Counting on the doors and going in, and, and it's something, even if you're driving by, it's you'll you'll never forget it if you see it. Some so. of these some of these folks really get into it too, don't they? Yeah, they do a great job. They're... they're uh, you know, the whole family comes out, they bring the dog. It's there's there's a, a special group of people who who we love hosting them every year. That's very cool. Now, in the how to Halloween, do you actually talk to people about how to make Halloween a lot better for themselves? We do. In fact, that's that's the core of it. Right. Uh, like, for example, the Lansing Makers Network will show you how to make things. Uh, we have so many groups. There's probably 50-plus interactive activities and Great. demos and make-and-takes and how-tos. So, uh, you know, there's a full schedule for both days all written in our program of, of where you can go to make a little craft or, or uh, work on your makeup skills, do some demos and, and really come out uh, with a new skill with, with uh, you know, bringing your Halloween game for your own home so much you know, better. And, and uh, it's, it, there are a lot of people who are, are volunteering their time and giving some, some great things to this. There's a lot to know about putting together a Halloween. What about, what about the pets? It's a big deal about the pets. Are you doing anything with <laughs> them? Um, you know, we always have the Mr. Machine Scooby-Doo uh, out front. So a great photo op with your dog. Unfortunately, we can't bring them into the Lansing Center. No, no. But for outside, yes, there's, there, you know, they're more than welcome to come in because the dog costumes are the best, you know, they we, are, we they love are. having them. So, so, uh, there's something in old town too, that I love going to with uh, my kids every year to, to that event. But, right. uh, yeah, the dogs and, the and you, you know, bring grandma, grandpa, any, any, I don't but, care, but bring your cat. Jerry, I got to ask you, do you, uh, what do you dress up as? This year, our theme. This is the year of the bat. So, oh. so it's the 80th anniversary of of Batman. Right. So, of course, Lansing Batman's going to be there. I'm going to be dressed up as Robin. You know, the classic Robin. Very cool. So, so Very that'll be cool. that'll be what I'll be doing yeah. this year, and and uh, just showing my support. You know, this is really a, a fun event. It's it's pretty spectacular too to see everything that's going on. If you love Halloween. This is the this is the place to be. It really is. Thanks for saying that. I could have said it better myself. Saturday Thanks. and Sunday sounds like a lot of fun. You can find out more online, I guess. At how dash to Halloween.com. We're presented by Leffa, sponsored by MSU FCU, and renewal by Anderson Windows. Jerry, I know you're going to be busy uh, the next couple of days. We appreciate you stopping by the Coffee Break Show and uh, talking about this. Absolutely my pleasure. All right. Thanks, Good Jack. seeing you. All right, you too. Jerry Jelotsky and uh, how, to, uh, how to Halloween and also the Zombie Walk, a decade of the undead. We're going to be right back. This is LCC Radio and TV.